What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna change it up a little this week. We got a lot of snow outside. It's pretty cold. We got Steph here, Dom. We know some new guys. So we're gonna have some questions. Throw it off the guys, off myself, and we hope you enjoy what we have for you. Let's go. Ah! who did small hardscapes in like middle school but then after that I just did concrete work and dirt work so <laughs> I came back to this I uh, worked in the medical field as a practice manager for health system and it was much time for a change so here I am I drove a van for a bank I drove onto a rack too <laughs> So technically, I do have some, some like familiarity with rocks and hardscaping. Type <laughs> thing. I was a designer for a company in town for about five years, and then before that, I worked for a maintenance company in Charleston, South Carolina. My White Horse are by uh, Chris Stapleton. Mm, it's a good one. Last Any night by Morgan Wallen, just to piss him off. Anything not by Morgan Wallen, preferably not country. I would say Pitbull Fireball. Oh yeah. Oh, DJ yeah. Fireball. Fireball. Love. Did it, did it, did it. Usher and Pitbull. That's yeah. a good one. Good one. Yeah. I've been on two projects so far, but the second one we've, I've been on is pretty big, so I learned a lot on that one. Pond in the pool and the second fire pit. All that good stuff. I've only been on one, so that one. <laughs> That's mine, yeah. Steph's, Steph's been here four months. Been on the four month job. Yeah. Yep. All right, Timbo. I uh, really like um, anything where we do the hearing one parent, so we did hearing one parent at this current job, did it at a sidewalk previously, and... No, it's gotta be your favorite job. Oh, my favorite job? Yeah, favorite job. <sighs> not the question? You're not reading yeah. the subtitles at the bottom of the screen? Right now? <laughs> no! Okay. Oh, oh, the other subtitles. Favorite job, the two-day patio. Nice. Okay, why you like that one? Hello. It was just, it went so fast, and just like, kind of flying through things to see how quickly and efficiently we could get it done was kind of fun. Do you like speed? Do you like fast? I do. I think mine would be, I think our first pool project, we think we could do it. We were doing something we didn't really know what we were doing and it was a lot of challenges and it turned out pretty amazing. Oh, hey, Beth. <laughs> so I'd say our first pool is our, our best one, my favorite one. The Valley. The Valley is really good. I'm gonna say it's not lunch, but I love the Flippin' Copper Creek Cafe for breakfast. Yeah. That's undefeated. That is, that's where it's at. You know, I took Tim one time to that burger place. Remember that? It was, um, where we have our Christmas party at? This uh, past year, we had it at a... Uh, oh, Bourbon and Butcher. Was yeah, it? Bourbon and Butcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a good time. Oh, yeah. wait, so, where did we do the dinner at? Corn Dance. Corn I'm dance. thinking a different place, though, than him when you guys said it. There's that Mexican spot. Oh, yeah, the, the that was South End, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. We one. went there a yeah. few times, so. Yeah, yeah that was good. The Tipsy Biscuit was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Tipsy Biscuit. Biscuit. Yeah. So I think the first time, the first day I ever had that was Paper Day. I felt like we walked into things where you were just, like, slow moving along. And, like, that day, like, things just flew. And leaving at the end of the day, I'm like, Holy cow, like we got a crap load done today. So, and just seeing the visual progress was like really big. I don't know if it's like like one memory, but I think looking back over the years and seeing where everything started and looking back and seeing we've got like an amazing team. I mean, we've got three guys on staff, two girls on staff. We've got all the equipment we'd ever need. We've got yep. tools. We've got these jobs that like I never would have dreamed of we've been on working in to yeah. see that, you know, how far we've come and where we're going. It's it's pretty cool to step back and look at that and yeah. you know, smell the roses every once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think mine was Tim when we graded that sand and the rock for the uh, playground on the greater job. Oh yeah. And that was good. And then when we put the boilers into the pond and the liner and then all the landscape rocks to get the pond going, I mm -hmm. felt pretty good about that too. That was fun to see from the bottom of the sock to the bottom. It was a fun day too. Um, was when we put the pool in. 
I had so much fun putting that pool in. Yeah. That was so much fun. <laughs> like, cause this has been new. <laughs> I was so like, nightmares about that day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you really? Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that was so much water. fun. It took us like 12 pounds to set yeah. it. It did, but it was so much fun. It was raining, Just snowing. Like, that yeah. was, that was, it was the fun, what was like doing it in the rain and Tim with the trash bag on. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> the trash bag. Tim looked like an idiot running with a trash bag on. <laughs> Probably plumbing. Yeah. Nine. Yeah, boss, when, when, when boss tells you what to do, what's your, what's your least favorite one? My least favorite thing to do is having to tell you what to do. And like digging by hand. And plumbing. Yeah. I like digging by hand. I hated doing the uh, uh, cartoon slabs. Doing, doing slab slabs. Slabs. Oh, dude. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah trying to get the level one. Heavy natural yeah. spacers with the yeah. nails. Yeah. Inconsistent heights, wet cast papers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Reset, set, reset. Starts like this, and you make it like this, and you gotta fix yeah. it all over again. Yeah. yeah. That's your least favorite task? Oh, easily. So. Hands down. Okay. <laughs> Lunch. When, Dude, he, when, he says like that kid, mic, when he says go grab that microwave, I'm, I'm running out of that trailer, man. You're like the kid in elementary school is like, oh, recess. That's my favorite subject. Dude, if he gave his recess, I'd be saying that, too. Okay. <laughs> favorite task? Favorite task? Probably, I love, I love like, screening. That's my favorite. Yeah. Uh, lighting? Oh. Screening is my favorite, man. I would say slinging in slabs. I like green dirt and rock. By hand or by machine. You I like burning like rock right by hand? Yeah. Or and by the machine. I like them both. Yeah. yeah. Just got to do it so long, guys. I feel more, more comfortable doing it. Is this pattern or design question? Well, design. Tim keeps thinking that hearing bonus design. The <laughs> the bottom of the you <laughs> know that pool you guys did with the wall right in front of it? Yeah, the, the first pool. pool. Yeah, I like that there, one. There we go. I he knows one. how to answer the question. That was oh. cool. Yeah, like design, like backyard. <laughs> <laughs> I would um, say, I'll say probably that wall that we did at the last house, the one with the rock that was like last second, the one that we did around the putting green and the, the, the turf. The boulders? The boulders, yeah. By the playground? Yeah, by the, by the playground and then the... Going up to so the... So you like the rock wall or you like the, that design? I like the, I like both. It's like a nice okay. thing. It, it, it makes it look a lot better too. I like it's probably that. the only design you've seen too, right? Yeah, yeah. honestly. The sunken patio is pretty sick. Yeah. My favorite design would be a job I did last last year called the Black Hawk job. Remember the Black Hawk pictures? I don't remember that one. You walk out, there's a big purple on your right, massive kitchen in front of you, a big linear fire pit, putting green you step down into, a bunch of lighting. It's a really cool design. Seems legit. Yeah. Stupid question. I mean, I'd rather work in 31 <laughs> degrees. I'd rather, I'd rather work in like. Yeah, so 31 50s. over 90. If 31's sure. under freezing, then 31. Yeah, I agree. Dude, no, are, are, you, I think, are, I think are you talking like this, Chelsea? Huh? Are you talking like this cold, like zero? No, talking like no just like beneath below freezing. freezing. Like, oh, so like, because we're, we're not. No, we, we were up like in the 20s this year. It wasn't that bad. Yeah. I'll do that. It wasn't below freezing. I thought you meant like this. I'll do below freezing. No. Tim <laughs> is a, a great age. You're going to Port John in 90 degree weather? Are you kidding me? Oh. Been there, done that. No problem. That's definitely um, cutting pavers and cutting blocks for kitchens and setting fire pits. That's my goal to knock those down and get them right the first time. Like, it's just like the weird angles. It's that the, get me. Yeah, like I'm not even like the straight across ones. Like I'm not good with like the hand, like the handheld saws though. I like I try to like score it and it goes like go like this and it's it's never straight. Yeah. So that's a big mm -hmm. one for me. Because I just want to get that, just you know, so I can't cut a straight line, let alone the, the curved ones. That's always been a problem for me, so. The uh, slow down a little bit, like in my head, I'm going 100 miles an hour. Yeah. I need to like slow down and smell the roses. Um, be patient. Um, probably communicate better. For me, it's probably like, trying to think two steps ahead and like not just be so caught in the moment that I don't know what's coming next or just be prepared to like keep flowing continually. Yeah, Tim's big boy if you don't know. He's uh, he's foreman now so he's got yeah. a little more responsibility. So he's he's Mr. Foreman sir. Yeah. Tim If we added all of Stefan's entries into one it'd probably be pretty serious. Um, and Tim <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember any injuries for myself. No. Dom, Dom, yeah. me and him are 
pretty intelligent. Yeah. Safe. <laughs> Cautious. You're pretty safe. The the line ends here. Yeah. yeah. I fell off a pallet, sprained my ankle. That was pretty bad. It was all big and discolored too. You know, oh, first look on the job, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah we walking on right. Monday, I'm like, where's stuff? And it's pretty simple. It was pretty early on the job, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. Oh get hurt. Yeah. Tim's one gets hurt. He bangs his yeah. finger. Yeah. Almost gets head in, hit in the head with an excavator. Yeah. That wasn't my mistake. Oh, injury, I smacked face oh, with him with a shovel. No, but that wasn't my mistake. That wasn't my mistake. That? that was pretty damn I close. just smacked face with him with a shovel. You did? Oh, yeah. yeah. I got hit in the face with a like, shovel. Like, he spun as soon as I spun. It was like bang right in the face. Oh. Shovel. Smashed my hand with a sledgehammer. Me too. Yeah. That's pretty bad. Yeah, you yeah. did too. You smashed your hand with a mallet this year too. Yeah, that's pretty bad. Said a bad word. <laughs> 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 You ripped them on the fiberglass pool? Yeah, twice. Yeah, yeah. And then you did it like last week too, two weeks ago. Yeah. I got the razor blade one. Remember that one where I cut like the razor blade right into my finger and bled everywhere? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That one was nasty too. Yeah, this side is a lot more dangerous. <laughs> Anything for the job, you know, right, Tim? Anything for the ground. Anything for the ground. <laughs> Easily, when Boss was gone for two weeks up in Florida and Tim had me and Dom doing slabs. <laughs> It took us, what should have been like a day, it took us like three or four days we did it. Two or three. Two or three days, and it didn't get it done. We were doing it, Tim's like, you can get it done this morning, right? And we'd be there like the next day, still doing it. Mm -hmm. And it just, it took us hours just to do, oh, it was so bad. Like you felt like you get one fix and then four more were wrong. You get those four fixed and then 12 more were wrong. And the whole thing yeah. just sucked. That was, that was brutal. That was so bad. Cause I, that was so stupid. That's why I hate slabs. Flashback. Worst day, hands down. That second pool in the wall mm. collapsed in mm. while it was inside the pool, mm. drilling holes. Yeah. The whole pool shifted, and so then we had to dig out all that clay by hand. Out clay with shovels, and that's when I smashed my hand on the edge of the fiberglass pool. It was like the halfway point of the year, and um, it was tough. I mean, we were on this this one job, and. It, it wasn't the most fun. We were down employees and I mean, I'll just go ahead and I don't know. We were on the job, you know. Yeah. Fire an employee, it was two of us. We had all this work lined up. It was stupid hot. Um, it's kind of hard to see an end in sight on this one job, you know. And uh, yeah, I mean, we had, it was a really tough spring and summer. Like being honest, it was really, really hard. And there were days where I felt like, like I wanted to quit. Like it was just like, like it was just like overwhelming. And, uh, but we didn't look at us now. Yeah, it was Hired Steph and Donald a couple months later and you know, best is yet to come. So yeah. we kept telling ourselves, and yeah, that pool shifting was pretty bad. So the pool walls, you know, six feet down pool was sitting in there we haven't backfilled it and then the ground shifted shifted the whole pool over and then thought my feet wouldn't go out from underneath me we were digging clay <laughs> by hand 100 miles an hour was at least 100 degrees out there it was so like hot it was, it was bad yeah i don't know i think um this past friday i was trying to get the punches in the pool and i couldn't get them unscrewed for a little bit i had to call richard Mm. That was kind of irritating, and then when I was cutting that green pipe out for the skimmer, I actually nicked the skimmer out a little bit. Oh. I cut the skimmer a little bit, so I was pretty so with myself about that. And cold out, just not a good day, but I've seen a lot worse, so I can't complain. I was gonna say six summer, to yeah, summer, summer would be I love six, to I like six to six, six to five, those are good hours, yeah, Monday to Thursday. That's my that's like ideal. When Tim told me that, that was like the like the. Tim got me the job here, so like when he told me that, that, that was like the sale point was like four days a week, week. Yeah. 10 hour days, I'm like 10, 12 hour days, I'm like, deep deal. Like I, I like that, I hate like eight to five, like at the, the bank, it's just, I don't like that. Like six to five, six to six. That's I like I like the 745 to eight or five in the morning time though, because mm -hmm. it's still getting light out at 745, but then everything's ready by eight and the sun's out and you're ready to go. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so I like the 745 start as well. I think he's easily hands on the best boss I've ever had. He's yeah. very, very patient. He teaches you things um, over and over again. I've asked him the same question for at least 10 times. Sometimes he just answers it every time just so calmly. 
Um, he doesn't just tell me to go do something and walk away. He'll teach me how to do it every time. Um, he's very easygoing. Um, just if I, if I had to leave early sometimes, he's always, you know, understanding about it. Just very easygoing, awesome guy. Cares about his employees more than any other boss I've ever had and stuff. Oh, thank you. What was that, Tim? I like that you care about your employees more than any boss I've ever had. And I've had some good ones. I've had some bad ones. But even the good ones, like, you take the cake, I think. Of course. A lot of small ways, I think. Uh, take us out for lunch. Uh, take us out for breakfast, oftentimes. But Keep us in the Gives us We're got a good outside. bonus program set up for us. Um, Keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we could be here for a long time talking about mm -hmm. just the different things he does to show his appreciation, so. Well, I think my favorite thing about working with Richard is if he explains something one way and I don't get it, he can find another way to explain it to me. Mm -hmm. And then he finds other ways to explain things so I can get it. And just always there for a question. He's not <laughs> just there for us on the job. Like if we need him outside of work or anything like that, we call him, text him, he's always gonna answer. Um, with serious stuff, joking stuff, whatever it may be, he's always there for us. That's awesome. I mean, no every other boss, I mean, seriously, I mean, every, every other boss I've ever had didn't talk to me at work, let alone talk to us outside of work. So, I mean. Oh, and he's like really good at designing stuff too. I mean, look at this hat. Pretty sick. I think you're just present and like, I see you every day. Like, I know I can count on you to like be there, so. So what's your favorite thing about us? That's Ooh. not next. That's not next. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. A break. I mean, I, I mean, I've said it before. We have the best team we've ever had. We've got guys that are hungry, guys that want to work, guys who have good attitudes, guys who care. You know, may not know all the ins and outs, but the guys are willing to learn, take feedback, take criticism. Yeah. They're just good, good people. You know, Tim. Tim, I always say Tim's just a sweet boy. He. Such a good, he's such a good boy. Um, no, he's a good leader. I think he's got a great attitude. He's got, um, he's a role model. I want to be like Tim. Tim's a good encourager. Um, so yeah, I think Tim brings a lot to the team. Um, Steph, he worked on some things with Steph. Uh, he's he's very clumsy. Uh, took out a big insurance plan on him, but uh, I'm just kidding. I say he didn't tell me no, that. Steph, Steph loves well. You know, he's a great guy. He loves to have fun, makes us all laugh on site. Um, he's the first person to work. He's there 20 minutes before everybody else is there. He's always wanting to do more and learn more and glad Steph's on board. Adds a good part to the team. Yep. Um, he always picks the best music too. He does. Like he always has a really good playlist going. Yeah, good. I'd say Dom's just a good old boy. He just comes to work. He works. Doesn't say a lot. Doesn't doesn't get mad. Doesn't get. He get happy. I'll say he get happy. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's definitely he shows emotion, but he'll jump at anything. He'll do anything you ask him to do. He won't complain. Um, he's just one of the guys that just uh, it's an integral part of our team. Yeah, we've got Chelsea, which I don't know about. Chelsea's our content creator she is um been killing it with the reels we just started a new youtube channel this year um i'm happy about where we can go with that so that that's good reagan is not here reagan is our admin she was doing content creation now she's doing more behind the scenes taking some, some things off my plate and she's a go-getter she's uh yeah she's a go-getter so she gets things done and answers phone calls and emails Payroll, a lot of the stuff I don't like to do. So, I mean, what do y'all think? Best team ever? Yeah, I think yeah. so. It's the dream yeah. team. Yeah. Better than the 96, 97, 95 Bulls. Yeah. Wow. And that's technically the best team ever. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Jordan. <laughs>
you have that in your archive and you can post, you know, from that album to Instagram and then Instagram sets up with Facebook automatically. So if you post an Instagram, it'll push to Facebook. I would say just, just do it really. Just that's all. The more you can share your face, the more the potential customer can build a relationship with you, build trust. Um, that way, if, if they've been following me for a year, I go over to their house, you know, they, they see my face and knew who I am. I know how I talk and my mannerisms. Um, I meet him for the first time, but I felt like they've known me for a year or two. So that's, that's come a long ways doing that. It's a little awkward. I don't necessarily enjoy it every day, but I think it's really important to show your face, to show people who you are, who's behind the company. Um, and just do it. It's weird. It's uncomfortable, but the more you can do it, you'll get better at it. And I think it will show some, some value in the end. We have how to what build a putting green video yeah. uh -huh. on YouTube. We have a how to build a wall, a, a sitting wall. Or, yeah, a sitting wall. And we have we do a turtle turf as well. Uh -huh. We have how to do synthetic turf. Yeah, help us. We do have three how to videos on YouTube channel right now. Um, I mean, I would say that I definitely actively recruited. So I think I posted on Instagram when I was hiring. Chelsea saw it, told her husband Tim about it. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Find out, find out about you. Dom came from a guy that we had done work for. He knew I was hiring. He mentioned Dom's name. Um, and then Steph came from Tim. So pretty much just word of mouth, Instagram. Yeah. Most of my hires have actually come yeah. from Instagram, and just word of mouth. Yeah. We find those. Dirty, dirty, dirty graphics. graphics. Dirty graphics, yeah. Dirty graphics on Instagram. Go check it out. I can't remember how much it was. You can you can customize any machine. John Deere, Ditch Witch, Kubota, whatever you have. Um, I think it's pretty good quality. Yeah. I feel like they were yeah. easy to install, like for <laughs> not having any, you know, for a beginner kind of. Yeah, let's say. Yeah. A couple of people, yeah. Yeah. Not, not yeah. do it by not, yourself. Do it yourself. Took off four of us. Yeah, I would say at least need two people doing it. Maybe yeah. three will help. One guy holding one and one holding the other and kind of centering it going in together. But it's definitely a DIY. Yeah. I feel like we do a lot more than some people in the industry do. Yeah. I would, yeah, so keep going, Tim. So, like, right this last year, kind of started up doing pools. Like, we do pools, we do the patio, we do the kitchens, the electrical. Like we do mm -hmm. as much of it as possible and pull all together so you're not having to get multiple people to do different facets of the job. So yeah. yeah, couldn't have said it better. We have a one pretty much a one stop shop. You come to us. We do everything in the backyard. You know, yeah. if we don't do it ourselves, we'll find somebody who can. Uh, especially getting into pools like we did this past year. You know, we did the pool plus the patio, the pergola, the kitchen. And I think that we're not doing normal designs. We're not doing normal builds. Anything you see us doing is, is definitely different. And it's, it's not, it's not your grandma's patio, your next door neighbor's patio. We're doing yeah. some really cool stuff. So, you know, we're in this little cool niche. We can do it all. We can do it pretty wild and crazy. And you know, why would you not want our seat outdoor to come out? Is that a village patio? Yeah, I don't know. That's a trick question. You do. You do want us out there. You do. You do. Bingo. All right. Anything else you guys want to add? That was it. Yeah. I don't have anything else I want to add. No. <laughs>